Good morning, Geometry. Happy Monday. It is week two. We can do this. We are going to focus on the 6-3 study guide and intervention today. So last week you did page 75 of it, to so the front of the study guide and intervention, and you hopefully read it. There are conditions for parallelograms. It's at the top of that page. If you don't have this in front of you, then maybe pause the video and, um, and take it out, okay? So if you're testing to see if something is a parallelogram, you, have to te you may test one of five, I think, five conditions. Um, if both pairs of opposite sides are parallel, then it's a parallelogram. If both pairs of opposite sides are congruent, it's a parallelogram. If both pairs of opposite angles are congruent, it's a parallelogram. If the diagonals bisect each other, it's a parallelogram. Or if one pair of opposite sides are both congruent and parallel, then it's a parallelogram. So if you take a look at that, you only ever needed to, to prove one of those things. Um, but So we're going to use coordinate geometry instead of proofs to prove these for this unit. We're going to practice coordinate geometry. I took the same problem that we did on Friday or Thursday, I don't even know what day, um, and I just tested something different. So on Thursday or Friday, we tested to see whether this um, was a parallelogram by checking if its diagonals bisect each other. So today we're going to check and see if one pair of sides, meaning one pair of opposite sides, not, not adjacent sides, but opposite sides, are both parallel and congruent. So here's what the work that I did. I started with FG, sort of this top um, side right here, and I calculated its slope. I used slope formula, the difference in the y's over the difference in the x's, and I got one-fifth. Remember, y minus y over x minus x is slope. I also did the distance formula for it, so I found out that, um, remember the distance formula is the square root of x minus x squared plus y minus y squared. And so I found out that it was the square root of 26. I did the same thing for its opposite side, jh down here. And so I did the same thing. I calculated slope. I found it was 1 fifth. I calculated the distance formula. I used the distance formula to calculate its distance. I found out it's the square root of 26. So let's check. They have the same slope. They have the same length. So yes. They are parallelogram. It is a parallelogram. Okay? So I am assigning the 7 6 study guide, page 76. It will, it is attached to this um, assignment. This, please do the circled problems, and attached also with the assignment are examples of the uncircled problems, and we're not doing number seven. So hopefully this won't take too, too long. Please do your work out the way that I have done it. And um, have fun. We'll check in soon. Bye.